great point. Good point. How do you look at that? Great point. We needed it. Um, any point you can get when we, when you're chasing a playoff position is important, especially when you're down three one with uh, with three minutes to go, and especially after that first period that we had, was, which was probably our worst first period of the year. So uh, it's a great point because we battled back. Um, we responded in the second, and we didn't quit, even though they got that power play goal, and uh, we, we were down three one. We didn't quit. There's a lot of fight in this hockey club, and. Uh, so it's a great point, and and you can't you can't ask for better chances than we had in overtime. I mean, we're walking right downtown, right down the slot, and we're all alone in front of their net. Like so, there's been four or five of these shootout games that we we clearly could have won in overtime with the chances that we're creating, and we just can't put the puck in there at that particular point. But we battle back, and again, you get a point, you take the point. Next we'll go to Saad Yusuf. Saad? Hey, Bones, you talked about that first period. Just how, how important and how big was Jake uh, to keep this to keep the game there? After the game. Um, it, it's, it, like, we had a great morning skate. There was a lot of life. There's, it was quick. It was, it, was, it was really good. So when you, you come back and you see that first period, you say, wow, we're, we're going to go. Um, anyways, that happens. You deal with it. And you address it after the first and you move on. But uh, that game is over in the first period without Jake. Love his composure. Love his compete. Um, he's, listen, he's getting better every game. Um, yeah, he, he battled hard tonight. And it's, again, you'd like to, those chances we had in overtime, you'd like to get one of those in. So you give the kid the win because he kept us in there. Um, so anyways, he, he was great. He's a, he's a, he's a battler. Great teammate, great worker, and he's just going to keep getting better. Next, we'll go to Matt DeFranks. Matt? Rick didn't see a Dennis there in overtime. Was it just something you saw from his game tonight that he, he wasn't feeling it? No, he wasn't feeling it at all tonight. He didn't like Dennis's game at all. Next, we'll go to Mike Pica. Mike? You guys have had a lot of comebacks in the last couple of years, and I know you can't always duplicate the situational motivation that, you know, when you're behind like that, but are there things that you learn in those last two, three minutes that you can try and use in future games? Well, we've talked about this with the team that there's been too many games this year that we've found ways to, to, to lose a point. Um, so we've kind of changed that whole mindset okay we're going to find ways to get points and and that's that's a, tonight's a good example so uh we have come back it's, it's this is a different team with all the kids that we have in front so they they got to learn how to find ways to win games and and tonight's a good example columbus is a good example you just find ways to get points any way you can and again like that's those chances if, we get those chances again over time. The puck's going in the net. We're going to take two points. But hey, it doesn't go in. It doesn't go in. Next, we'll go to Matt DeFranks. Matt? With Dennis, was that just defensively or offensively you didn't like it? Or what was it about him? The whole game, both sides. Next, we'll go to Saad Yusuf. Saad? Hey, Bones, you talked about this, this period of time being big for Jake's development. Um, does that take an even bigger step when he's going toe to toe with Vasilevsky? Well, it does because I was in Tampa when Vasi came into the league, and um, there's there's a lot of similarities. Uh, I mean, Vasi when Vasi first came into the league, there were bad goals. There was, you know, he had to learn. You could see the incredible potential of the kid. You could see the attitude, the work ethic, everything else was right there. You knew this Vasi was going to be a great goaltender in this league. But they need experience. They need to play, and um, so Jake is. Jake has the work ethic, the, the compete, uh, and the desire to be great. So, um, you know, listen, Vash is the best goalie in the league. This, don't kid yourself. And um, Jake is. Jake is. You know, but this is Vash's. Well, this is Vash's sixth, seventh year in the league. Um, I'm losing track of time, but he's been around six, seven years. Imagine where Jake's going to be in six, seven years. He'll be. He'll be right there. And our last question is from Matt DeFranks. Matt? What did you think of uh, Jamie tonight? Of who? Jamie. Jamie Ben. Jamie Ben. 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 Well, he gets a big goal for us. He battles hard. And listen, he, he, you know, he's great. He's great on the bench. And when things aren't going good, you see him trying his, 
you know, his best out there to get things going. Uh, I was glad to see him get a goal. Um, that was huge because it's been a while since he scored. So hopefully that'll get, more, get him going again too. But he was solid. I mean, no problem with Jamie. He was good. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.